Fanatics turn to bad. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Radiant team pick. Warlock. Fanatics turn to pick. seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Bad Rider! Fanatics turn to pick. seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Summit 6. We are here with Fnatic vs Warriors Gaming in the C qualifiers. Game 1 going to Fnatic after a execution, I would say, from an Ursa Warrior. And uh, Warriors Gaming still very adamant about this Warlock pick. <laughs> Is this a bet they lost or something? Uh, why, why must they keep picking it first? I don't know, Afu has a plan and he will not rest till he sees the plan through. And uh, <laughs> I don't know, Fnatic look at this, shrug the shoulders like I have and say, okay, you want to go for the exact same thing? Okay, we'll let you have it and we'll go for the exact same two picks. We go for Ohio's very strong bat rider and we go for Jimmy's impactful disruptor. And uh, I don't know. Warriors. My might need a name change after this one. Warlock. Juggernaut. Alright, so, okay, that guy makes more sense now. You have, a, you have a team push, you have a big ultimate to follow up a big team fight and then push. So, the Juggernaut makes more sense with the Warlock. But still, you know, the Warlock's weakness was very apparent the last game when they put him in a dual lane. The Warlock was just really unable to facilitate any kind of, uh, you know, safety bubble for the carry you know you can't really do any harassment you die very easily because you have no escape have below average move speed it's just annoying in general and i really wish I, warriors gaming will find a good second hero it's a good second support like a Skyrov. I'm not saying those heroes are the best in the situation, but heroes that can actually zone. So, Skyrov uh, comes to mind. Lion is not too bad either. But you know, just heroes that can actually push the bat rider out of lane. Silencer. You know, heroes that really mess him up in the lane, force him to not even come near the creep wave and just you know walk over you with napalm. So, a disable here would be good, of course. Uh, the bat rider. Yeah, will be more susceptible to a juggernaut spin attack. So, we'll see. War is gaming. Reserve time. Great adamant on that warlock. So we'll see how that works. The Sand King being banned out. Uh, it's a shame. I do love watching some Sand King. We have an ogre ban. Yeah, ogre very good against the bat rider, but overall we have a 
We have a pretty decent first two from Fnatic. A uh, good juggernaut here, a big question mark over the Warlock. And uh, normally I would be excited, but you know, there needs to be a plan for these kind of things. And uh, Warriors, they have that fourth ban in their minds. They're just thinking about it. What do they want to ban? Do they want to ban something from the previous game that were causing them trouble? Maybe the Ursa? Maybe the Omni Knight? Well, we'll have to see. But uh, Demon Drafts. Uh, something else, so you never know what to ban against Jimmy, because Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Alright, Warriors taking their time. You have got, got a minute and 35 for now. And uh, the Summit 6, so we're ramping up to be an exciting tournament. Lots of nice teams, great, great Dota matches, just really chill couch casts as well. Very fun uh, event in general. And Looking forward to see how it will develop. A lot of teams being uh, getting ready for that major and does really change the whole scenery a little bit, you know, with a chill kind of tournament. And we have a Draw Ranger band now coming out here from the Warriors Gaming Squad. So once again, taking out that draw, not trusting themselves to be able to deal with it. And I don't blame them. A lot of teams have thought that they could deal with the draw, but oftentimes it just took a couple of quick mistakes to lose all that map control very, very quickly. So I would say this is a good ban out here from Warriors. You know, you don't really want your Juggernaut facing in the Drow, usually if you don't have any jumpers, like a Bat Rider or Storm Spirit, you know, Drow Ranger is usually really difficult to deal with. And now we'll see what Fnatic actually pick up here. They have that third pick first, then they go straight for that OD, maybe go for that block pick right away. Counter up to his Bat. But, uh, I don't know. The the Bat Rider did, did have a little bit of problems with the OD last game, but not significant that they need to ban it out or snatch pick it. But it could be a possibility that they want to try. But uh, Warriors are now going to okay, face up against Avenge. So one of the Bat Rider counter is going to be removed here by Fnatic. They block pick it with their Venge. The minus armor is going to be juicy. And the swap out is going to be good for whatever hero that Fnatic are planning on picking. And let me think of good Venge heroes. Oh, okay. Mushi TA is in the works. Uh, it's very possible. We get a Mushi TA here. The minus armor combinations that could potentially come out here maybe even a safe lane slaughter if we're really stacking those armor lineups you know armor armor reduction is very good against juggernaut because usually in the early to mid game he likes to start the fight with the spin and when you do that you know the amp damage the minus armor ta smacks could really take out a juggernaut and ruin his day so we'll see we'll see what what happens here <coughs> But for now, just sit here and watch Warriors Gaming just tickle their time away. 42 seconds on that clock. I really want to see a complimentary support to this. Okay, they're getting an Elder Titan. It's it's okay. It's okay, but it's 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 not the harassment I was looking for, and it might actually be on the off lane. It's not really the harassment that can hurt the Bat Rider. I mean, the sleep is good, but then after the sleep, he might be able to outrun the spin. So, overall, it's still quite annoying. And there also comes, again, making a second resurgence. Very strong against the Juggernaut. The spin is just not an option here when you're trying to run from the Ursa. And of course, the Omni Slash is going to do minimal damage against that Ursa with his ult on. So, we'll see how they handle this Ursa again. It's round 2. They have a second chance. And, uh... Are they going to pick up a proper counter this time? Maybe a Viper comes to mind. I really, really like to see that Viper. Oh yeah, Slaughter's man. Okay, I don't know why it's just a Slaughter then. But it still may be a Mushy TA. And a Mushy TA is definitely going to be... Okay, Axe! Uh... Normally I would say Axe is great, but I feel like Axe still melts to us. Uh, and there's Bat that will make his life hell. Disruptor, Glim, Swap. It's very difficult for an Axe this game. But we'll see. X is a hero that rarely goes wrong. Ursa is strong enough to kill X, but X can kill Ursa with some lucky spins as well, especially when Ursa hits really fast in the X. But hey, I may not know what I'm talking about. 
at least Warriors Gaming had more lockdown and control this time around. You know, the compliments at Warlock, they ban out the Invoker, so no Carl for this match. And we have that fifth ban. For Warriors, what will it be? What will it be? Yeah. I honestly would ban Mushi TA, right? Mushi TA. Yeah, he doesn't really have a lot of DPS, it's a solid pick. But Warriors, they haven't revealed their mid laner just yet. It could be the Juggernaut, and in which TA would not be the most effective, but still be pretty decent. And Mushi does like that hero. Hmm. I'm thinking along the lines of Minus Armor here, as well as Roshan attempt, but with Ursa, you already have all that Roshan advantage, you don't really need it. So maybe something more mo mobile, like a Storm Spirit, you know, to complement the Batrider ganking, could come into, uh, come into play here for Fnatic as well. But Warriors Gaming, that fifth pick is, that fifth ban, it's, it's really just leaving the panicky right now. They're not sure what they want to pick, very clueless about things. So. Well, not clueless, but more deliberate. It looks like they'll ban out that mushy Omni Knight. So Demon was like, I want to sneak in the same draft! But uh, yeah, not gonna happen this time. As you will have to resort to other forms of creativity. Which I no doubt know that he has loads of. Okay, there we go, some lockdown, some team fight. Now I'm starting to feel the Warriors lineup. A mid Medusa, very strong. Uh, stopping on the Ursa, Ursa attack, Batrider jumps in, you just immediately go for, go for that gaze. If he jumps on your teammate, gaze, Warlock, Golem, there's a lot of control. It's up to Fnatic to play around the cooldown, so maybe something with short cooldowns. And again, I, I think TA comes to mind, but a lot of the heroes here are very tanky. So... Might need to really think this one hard and harder deal with this Medusa pick because it's now like a bulwark in the front and it's gonna be very difficult the Fnatic don't do anything and they pick a silence I love it I love it it's uh you know you're fearing those big ultimates you want to try and push them out of sync so you have your bat rider jump in you have your Ursa follow up and then you have that silencer to shut things down and this is why I really enjoy watching teams with um versatile players because people like Mushi can just really accommodate captains and their crazy drafts because he can play anything. You know, the hero pool is great, may not be the best at each of them, but he's decent enough for there not to be conflict, for there not to compromise the draft. And in the end, you get some really cool strategies like this. You have Mushi playing up that mid silencer against Medusa, which I do believe will be... No, wait, will we... Yeah, it'll be the mid silencer against Medusa. And I think it's gonna be okay. It's not gonna be the worst and uh, last hits and the nice screen comes out so we're gonna start the game proper we have Fnatic on the dire side Raven you know playing Ursa Ohio on the bat rider we have Mushi Silencer we have Ayo on that disruptor and Demon last but not least is gonna be playing that vengeful spirit Afu meanwhile is uh, going to be playing Warlock again uh, he's either as either the thing either he loves the hero a lot or he just doesn't want to listen to his teammates advice like come on guys can we stop picking the old man but uh Ajit is going to play the snake woman medusa kangaroo going to be jungling axe wow deep deep gank here coming up from fanatic uh we'll just run through the teams very quickly nova on that nova on that elder titan and last but not least we have the juggernaut played by nana is this a support jug or is it a mid jug looks like a mid jug saving up gold yeah it's probably mid jug but Jug's the worst hero they could possibly pick on here. They know that he's there. And no, they're going in. They're wrapping around. There's that napalm. Nana, if he spins out of this one, he can get away. But there's 20 seconds that he cannot actually deal with this. Nana, there's going to be a glimpse back maybe. But they're piling a lot of damage onto him. Four napalm stacks now. Starting to get real cumbersome. And they're actually really tapping him down. If he doesn't actually get the spins off now, he might die. But he has timed that on really well. And, but he'll take a massive amount of damage and will probably forfeit both runes as Raven will get his and Batrider will get his as well. So GG, Fnatic are going to win this game, hands down, because of what happened here. And Juggernaut, timing that spin really well, has to go all the way back to base. So that first mid lane advantage already going all the way to Mushi. No, actually no, they, they switch it up again. So it's Medusa going mid again and the Juggernaut going bottom. So to the bottom they go 
and Afu gonna have to lane to himself for now, but there are two heroes that are ready to gank him up, and because they didn't spend any mana harassing that Juggernaut, they're gonna have a great time. Raven playing that aggressive lane straight away, and Afu's like, ah, nope, no, 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 I'm going top. And Ohio's gonna say, uh, all right, guys, they call this, and they call this, and we are gonna be fighting them up top. But the thing is, once again, we have uh, Warriors running a jungler, so that means a dual lane in wherever their carry is farming, and Warlock is not the best dual laner. He's not the, you know, he's really just not the best dual laner. He doesn't have a stun, he doesn't have any kind of rail harassment. Yeah, there's Fatal Bonds, but Fatal Bonds pushes the wave, and it's, it's just not ideal to have that Warlock. And right now, Fnatic are looking for a gank here. It's gonna be 9 possible, I say that. But it's gonna be at least harassment. Yeah, there is the last word to start things off. The magic missile. No, nope, they're gonna glimpse it back here. Pull him in for some damage. They stun him up, but really, yeah, this is not happening. But great footwork there from Fnatic to actually stay out of tower range to prevent any kind of real damage from chipping in. And I uh, really gotta commend them for that. Raven, meanwhile, picks up his shoes. So this Elder Titan is now gonna be matched in terms of move speed 360 to that 355. So almost matched. I lied. Haha. <laughs> Nana. Meanwhile, 9 stick charges on him, Ohio. Oh, come on! Really? Okay. Okay, so X was really low. That was not my fault, right guys? Okay, it was my fault, sorry. But Demon, he's gonna find that regeneration, and I was about to call him out on being a single hero player, but he is deciding to offload that burden of responsibility of the Disruptor to Ayo, so he can play that bench for himself. And meanwhile, Afu, He's come to the middle lane, trying to offer some aid here against Mushi. Arjun's doing okay himself, he's got 5 last hits though, so... It's uh, yeah. it's, it's already not good, as you can see, Mushi absolutely dumpstering him here, uh, into the CS. That was, also could be because of that little harassment, little taps earlier on, but still. Very annoying. Nova doesn't have any form of mana regeneration just yet, so he will not be able to throw out these storms at will. He has drank his last clarity potion. And Kangaroo, he's got that Iron Talon. This Observer will just keep tabs on his axe. And he was like, okay, cool. And uh, get me some money. And now Nova might be in trouble with that glimpse if he's not careful. Pull him back with the glimpse. Yeah. They might actually do quite a bit of damage if they glimpse him back, but uh, they want to save their mana for more pressing situations. And Arjit once again getting zoned out by the silencer. Look at the CS. We have Ursa just comfortably farming away with this with this offlane Ursa warrior. Oh, now we have a little bit of contest going on. Nova gonna get stunned up. He has landed the spirits on two heroes, so his damage was pretty high at the point. But yeah, then he's gonna pull back again. So overall. Fnatic just ex exchanging hits there, and the jungle and the gold graph gonna be favoring the dire side a little bit. 1,500 in favor, but after X claims this, he will have something to say about that net worth. All right, Kangaroo, I'm gonna wait for another pull, but will the disruptor and the Venge come here to disrupt this one? No pun intended. But oh no, what happened? Land shops went out. All right, so. We are going to have ourselves a DC for now. Hopefully, this doesn't persist. But yeah, it's it's very weak, very very weak. Lanes coming up from Warriors Gaming right now. The um, I I still think the Warlock hasn't been punished enough. He needs to be. But this time, Ohio has been playing as dangerously or as aggressively because he didn't really have any aid with that Elder Titan in the last game. But he has gotten some good levels. Got him his bottle as well. So he will be able to control the runes here for Mushi, who is not getting a bottle, going for mass null talismans. Just gonna be slicing in, relying on that intelligent steel to top up his mana. Sorry, G. And uh, yeah, it looks like a little bit of a trip. As the fanatic guys just go out of this. And there you go. Is there a block? Yeah, there's a block. So already messing up that pull. Demon. Okay, now nah, nah, Demon. Cancels up the stomp. Oh. So that's a huge thing. Ayo gets himself a haste rune. Gonna splink away at Elder Titan. Oh man, here comes the Bat Rider. Could be a big cut off here. As they do pull the Elder Titan back, the body blocking coming up from Demon. He goes for the stomp, but Nova might as well sneeze right there. Almost look like it as well. 
Goes in for the sprint instead. Tries to get out of there. He can get Sonic Boom. He's like, take me, neutral creeps. And he does actually get it. The wave of terror comes across. They're trying to steal this. Their contest is so hot. Mushi about to get himself like juicy plus two Apu. Gonna be feeding. And he does feed two intelligence over the Mushi. One of the greatest things about playing Silencer is seeing that minus two. Minus two. It's kind of like playing LC, except you don't have to actually KS or secure that win. You just need to be in the area when people die. So. The brain drain is real as a warlock takes a, takes a fall there. Raven picks himself up face boots. Just really having a cozy old time here. Five minutes in and this off lane. Nothing off about it as he is. Just enjoying the fruits of a proper lane to farm. And uh, Fnatic. Oh, what's happening, Batrider? He is dying himself to Roshan. Okay. It's like, I'm a Rosh, guys. So some, some people take the solo Rosh threat, or threat very seriously. And... Uh, Ohio is one of those guys. Deny himself to the Roshan, allow himself a quick respawn and base with all these items. Don't really want to waste too much time. Kangaroo, meanwhile. Up top with level 4. I'm not sure what he's going to make out of this. He's going to try and yeah, roll in and... Yeah, he's going to try and roll in and get some spins off. But so far, that spin luck, man. It's, it's, it's not hard. <laughs> he only spin once in the entire creep wave. And the wave of terror comes in. Demon looking for another strike. He's level 3, though. Is level three, and uh, Mushi. Gold and sweet. Snakes. Uh, Ajit gonna throw his snake at Mushi. Cap a pride. Oh, Mushi. I'll stay his welcome there. Probably gonna go down. The spins come out, and with that Omni Slash available as well, he will be dying. Fortunately for him, he does not get a minus two, but they lose their axe again. So that is his Tranquil Boots delayed and he hasn't even started on that Blink Dagger. He is now level 4, about to hit that level 5 mark. Raven is looking for the kills there, but a little sad that the Warlock didn't make a push forward. Could have allowed himself to get a big juicy kill. But uh, speaking of big juicy kill, here comes Raven. There's an Omni Slash to follow here by Nana. I told you about this one. You really have to be careful when you play against the Nelson Warrior. You can't just spin like that. If you're slower than him, he just beats you down. You have to be very, very careful when playing against an Ursa. And uh, we, even with that spin, Juggernaut is not safe against the Ursa. And you already saw there, didn't even make that Omni Slash play because he knows that this Enrage will come out and just really pretty much nullifies his entire ultimate. Leave him in a very vulnerable position as well. Nana, you know, throw out Napalms on the high ground. Want to make sure he doesn't get ambushed. And now there's an Omni Slash possibility here. But there are a lot of heroes in the background. So the Juggernaut not going to be taking that risk. As Raven continuously farms aggressively in their safe off lane, not even safe. Mushi, meanwhile, Snake's not gonna tag him. It's gonna be seven and a half minutes in. Trying to farm up the safe lane and uh, Kangaroo gonna attack that by Thunder Strike. Ohio is here. So we'll fall. Land some Napalm charges onto Kangaroo. He's gonna get glimpsed back, and yep, survival rate's pretty much zero at this point. And uh, Kangaroo is gonna try and get some lucky spins and maybe a dunk, but no lazy kill allowed for him there. He will not be filled out by RNG himself. Meanwhile, Nana could be in potentially a lot of trouble. The global silence comes out. I don't even think that was necessary, but they have to get him. And they drop a big ultimate for that one, but they still get that minus two, and so Silencer is up at a plus four. We're gonna do this a little. We're gonna do this little song here as Silencer gets it. Do a little chant whenever he gets a minus two. Right now, gonna push for another one. Want some of Afu's brains? What's happening, guys? Come on. All right, so Fnatic once again having some PC problems. They're gonna tap out for a bit. There are 54 fans, definitely gonna be a little bit alarmed and concerned. But hey, no worries. If you're just tuning in, guys, this is game number two uh, between Fnatic and Warriors Gaming. Fnatic are one game up in this best of three. It is uh, pretty swell so far for Fnatic. They're leading 5 to 1. Mushi's got himself 4 intelligence now. And I don't know why we're zooming in. Probably my mouse. Blue screens of death. Uh, let's hope Fnatic comes back ASAP. I'm not sure where they're playing from actually. Are they gonna play? Are they playing from their... I was, you know, I've been seeing the Fnatic Instagram or I've been following them on social media and those guys have been balling. If you guys have seen the new documentary, I haven't seen it yet. But uh, I did see the trailer and the trailer had a lot of glimpses of party life, sitting on a boat and uh, getting fed champagne by a hot girl. <laughs> I think so. Is that, is that Fnatic? 
might be a different team, but uh, that's what I saw in trailers, and so far, pretty funny. Pretty funny, but looks like the teammates are reconnecting, and we have Ohio left wait four, and then we'll be rejoining the game. 54 fans still standing strong, guys. Fanatics, 54 fans. These guys are the OGs. They are the OG Fanatic fans. They've been here since TI2. They, they came for no tail. They stayed for the mushy. That is pretty much it. And now they have a demon bonus, so their loyalty uh, was rewarded. Keeping those penance for such a long time. Alright. Sorry. Sorry, they say. And uh, we're gonna be very sorry as Demon. Still looking for targets to pick on here. The Ursa is gonna go in here. Get that get that Roshan and again! Warriors are not in any position to contest this, although they look like they are posturing to try. Arjit is gonna be here. We have Nana with his Omni Slash, so they could actually get the Disruptor off right away, but the Ursa already getting that Aegis of Immortal. And Nana gonna chase Demon down, but he spins the wrong way for just a sec, and no, the Dragons will not end him. The, the Spirit was just cutting him off, but Kangaroo in a lot of trouble from this as they are linking him up, but Raven, oh no. Going for the easy kill there. Going for the low hanging fruit. There's the bounce back available for him, but never mind. Just gonna walk over him with fire up, oh, just in case. Missing that one. But meanwhile, the TP out from the silencer will ensure that he does not feed his net worth over to the enemy. Mushi picking up drums. Boom, boom, boom. And we're very happy about that one. Le seems to like that item a lot. Very, very beneficial, especially on a core silencer. You wanna get those good stats going in. Raven. Gonna use his spin. Oh man, Nana, aggressive spin being used. You will be punished. The glimpse will come back, and this is the ultimate punishment. Nana, zero respect here for the disruptor. Spinning right in the face of the dire, and then, well, losing his life. That was some critical mistake there, and he will be losing his tower as well if he's not careful. We have a little bit of a breather to take a look at net worth. We're sitting at the top here for the Ursula Warrior. We have Batrider sitting at 3.8, Silencer at 3.6, and, uh,. Mr. Feedy McFeederson on 3,000 net worth, so punished for his greed and uh, disrespect. So, Ajit, meanwhile, role playing Medusa very well, maintaining a 0 0 score. Has a uh, blemished that record a little bit with that 3 assists in his ugly scorecard, but you know, 0 0 0 is the dream. Meanwhile, Kangaroo farming up, sitting at that 600, and uh, we'll, we'll have to check out this juggernaut here, Nana. Making that mistake once, does he make it again though? There is a silence this time, so he might not even get a chance to make any of his said mistakes with miss spins. He's just gonna probably die if he's not careful. And the Blink Dagger almost available now for the bear. Radiance top tower Ohio. Oh no, a glimpse once again, okay. They force out the spin. It's down for 16 seconds and AU like okay he shrugs his shoulders like we can try. Maybe you're, you're a bit late on the uptake, you're shopping for items to get killed. Right now. Disruptor. So be very careful here as the Omni Slash is available. So very easy kills that could be coming out here for the jug on a roaming support. And they are gonna mess up this Exus Day once again. There is Stone Gaze, so the first person they're walking into is the Medusa. The Wave of Terror comes in, he doesn't have the shield on, and this is a perfect moment to get him right when he's jungling with his pants down. Literally, pants down. His shields, his pants, and now the silence comes in. Where is that push? Yep, they're going in for that jug push, and the X is gonna TP in to the middle lane to bail his juggernaut out. The silence. Not the best one, not the best use of that ability, but it does stop the kill on the jug. And they do lose the tier 1 tower in return though, so that is more favorable in my opinion. And let's see, 3 to 8 now, top 3 net worths are on Fnatic. It really does give you uh, a real preview of what the rest of the game is going to be like if things keep on happening the way they have been happening. Heroes getting picked off, doing silly things, but... Now the tier 1 tower top is about to fall on the fire here. Will Fnatic actually go for it? Ohio just really waiting to capitalize on this. He does see Nova here. Yeah, he sees Nova, but he doesn't have a lasso. And this dire tier 1 tower will probably be traded off with the mid tier 1 tower. Fnatic very, very eager to trade here. As they want to be applying pressure with this Aegis instead of just retreating and uh, trying to get a catch off on their defense. So right now, 
Venge checking out the <laughs> blind spots there. Wow, this is a really fierce AO on Disruptor. Learning from Jimmy, his partner. Meanwhile, Tower Tier 1. Shoot Mushi once. And Tier 1 Tower. We'll be under fire here, Ohio looking for that lasso. Goes in there, Nana. And then pulled out, and now there goes your Lasso Warrior. Chop, 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 chop. Down he goes. But I say chop, I can mean slash. A kangaroo kind of waved up. There's a thunder strike to mark his location, and yeah, he's not running away. I really like when people try and run away from Glimpse. <laughs> I'm going to try and run away from this, but it always ends in a minus two. And Silencer now up to six intelligence. I expected it to be more, but he hasn't been present in every single fight yet. And now it's, uh, now it's gonna happen. Wave the Terror comes out, the Batrider being spotted. Tower Here comes the Flames. I'm gonna pull the Creep Wave to the side. The Aegis does go down though. The tier 1. Oh, the Silence comes in from AU. Trying to lock that Juggernaut in place, but now he's used the spins. The Swap comes out. There's the Omni Slash, but there's a the Silence as well. And look at him just speeding away at him. And the STFU gets hit. And Unity are running away for their lives. RG deploys the Stone Gaze as the Silence wears off. But is it gonna be enough? Apu drops the rock. They're turning to stone. Demon throws up the stun just in time. But the Ursa coming in, going ham, taking three names as he writes them off the list. Down he goes. The Warlock Golem feeding another big kill over. And Raven, Raven, Raven. This Ursa Warrior and him are spirit animals, spirit buddies. It's 314, guys. Welcome to Pi. It's Pi O'Clock. Yeah, that's it. Pi O'Clock. Fnatic are in the lead there by a huge, huge margin. And uh, 10,000 gold. It's about, to, it's about to get there. Huge. Yes. <laughs> that's how you say the word, right? Now gotta farm up the ancient, steal it up. Really minimal items on his Ursa, but able to do so much with just so little. <laughs> really makes a good Ursa warrior. But of course, Raven is an aggressive player at heart. And it's no surprise that he has transferred that aggression alongside his comrades here in Fnatic. And this, this Juggernaut is going to have a real bad day for him. Yep, see the immediate lane is to spin. And when you spin, you sometimes lose yourself to the Ursa if he gets a bash in. So, you have to be very careful here. Nana has that Omni Slash, but he's level 8 only, so no level 11 anytime soon. Ohio is just farming for Storm here. He's got himself an Eels already. This off lane or safe lane farmer has been... Oh, he's farmier than the rest of the heroes here on the Radiant team, so... It's a really rich bat rider. Really strong. And uh, the X finally acquiring his Blink Dagger. Gonna be able to do those good counter initiates that his team sorely needs, but this silencer is just going to be what stops them in their tracks. Raven ready with his overpower. He's gonna try and go in there, get the first hit bash. Nana, oh no, punish! And that's what I said, you can't just spin like that. When you spin like that, you still don't get out of there. But I guess he doesn't really have any kind of option. He needed a reveal here from the eventual spirit, and now Ohio goes in with that pull, gets Kangaroo and Arjit there in the silence, Arjit unable to get the face off and he gets punished as he falls there, the X loses two intelligence, Nova losing two intelligence as well, 318, we need four more names, Apu, yeah man, Warlock more, <laughs> I just can't see this hero working, I mean it's great in some picks, but this hero has just not been working out for this guy, he's got an obsession and it's a bad one, 3 and 19, man, Man, oh man, Raven. A Skull Basher. It's about to become something more. And this is not looking good for Warriors as they sink lower into the depths. They have hit rock bottom and they're still digging. This is this is just really bad for them. I feel really sad for those guys. So, I want to blame the Warlock. I mean, it's a general thing. Fnatic are just a better team, but yeah, I feel like the Warlock really hasn't contributed that much. This guy probably plays a lot of Warlock and pubs, so check his profile later on. But yeah, you know, when teams sometimes, you know, they get fixated on this particular strategy, it can get really damaging if the, you know, if the team doesn't want to adapt to any kind of situations. But, you know, maybe they figured they'll give it a second shot and see how this one pans out. But Fnatic are light years ahead right now. Oh, man. 
and a global silence as well. So the Juggernaut, is he gonna get Raven? Is he gonna get Raven? It swaps in there, says, hello demon, high fives the Juggernaut in the face. And there'll be no kill, and the Bat Rider pulls in the Samurai, and he's about to tumble. He will be number 21. Do we hear 22, ladies and gentlemen? Nova on his way out, trying to run away from Ohio, but Ohio, he's got no mercy for the week here. He starts with the Eels, but is there a follow up? The bounce back here from the Flame Brick? Nah, the Glimpse is not gonna be there. And Nova, he is uh, gonna pull it. Now, all we need is for Fnatic not to throw any of this away. And I feel like Warriors is waiting for the memes. Are they waiting for the memes? Probably. We'll see the GG out by the 20 seconds, but, you know, at this point, we're just in it for the memes. And uh, 10,000 net worth on Fnatic's Ursa. Mushi sitting at a cozy 8,000 as well. And to think that Warriors Gaming gave them a hard time back in TI6 when they were forced to play through the regional qualifiers. Warriors Gaming was one of the contenders for the top spot in C, and uh, Fnatic knocked them out in the last moment but they were still given a hard hard time there by warriors but it really goes to show how much a single change in roster can mess up the dynamics of your team nova the new add-on to this team 0-4 here can't really blame the entire game on him but it really does jive up you know the chemistry it really makes things weird waiting for roshan to respawn the big man still taking a nap says not now mom but uh raven I'm gonna say okay i'm okay with that we'll get some blads first we'll just follow up some ancients Meanwhile, Mushi get himself a huge new item. He has got a Hurricane Pike as well as some drums. Mushi uses farming mid lane. You know, really no fear, no stress on him at all. There's no threat of an impending push. Although, if he does die, there'll be a slew of reports in his next game when he gets the summary. Because I'll be reporting him myself. You never mess with the memes. And uh, there we go. Ursa gets himself a second Aegis. Now that we looking to put that nail in the coffin as the proverb goes. Ohio. Just gonna deploy those sticky napalms. Check out for any observer wars. Don't really want to be walking into a trap. They scan and uh, it comes out empty. Warriors Gaming are just huddling on that top side of their base not really wanting to expose themselves to any kind of Batrider pulls. Ohio has been really on the ball in this game, being able to strike targets and just really scouting everything with his Batrider spins for now. Mushi is going to show his face and glaive down this tower. He says, Creeps, you hands off. Kills the two guys in the back there for insubordination. And Mushi gonna tank that spirit, four stars himself away, style points. And uh, they're gonna chill. They're, they're gonna wait for the creep wave to push in. They have the Bat Rider top just flaming down the wave and it's wanting to get those creep equilibriums in their favor before pushing because you don't really want to take too much damage on your towers with bad creep waves. Uh, looks like Fnatic. Yeah, they're, they're gonna settle for top. They're gonna take a tier 2 first. They're, they're playing this one safe. They're not gonna take big risks. They're just gonna play this one safe. Get the suffocation in nicely before turning off the lights here. And Ayo, they're just waiting there. Fnatic Raven letting us wait with bated breath as we look for that 20 second kill. Meanwhile, guys, check out Ice Frog Mountain. Can you see the frog? Can you? See? This is a frog. Ribbit. This is the tongue. But can you see the frog guys? This is the eye. These are the eyes and this is the Okay, never mind. Never mind! We're here at the tier 2 tower. But Ice Rock Mountain has been scouted out. Oh, yep, if he wants to take a look. Yeah, take a look at Ice Rock Mountain. Alright, here we go. Ohio. Looking for picks here. 13,000 gold. Nova. Gonna throw out that stomp, it's gonna it's gonna land a little bit wide there, not gonna find Raven, but Raven's like, okay, you guys don't wanna come in, I'm gonna dazzle down your tower. And uh Warriors like, alright guys, what are we gonna do? Do we get free racks? Is that the plan? Do we disrupt memes or do we just give the memes and then try and take the fight proper so that people can take a proper screenshot? Once again going far out of there, Raven. 
He is waiting for it. Ohio getting full stop. No, oh, full stopping in the Medusa. And the silence comes in. And now the silence on top of that as well. Arjit really getting his mouth sewn shut at 322. We did it. Nana going to be the 23rd as well. The Rock comes in. But really, it's not doing much. Uh, the, there is a little bit of fatal bondage going on. But no damage. No real punishment going to be coming out here. A lot of linkage coming out. The Disruptor dropping real low. But a huge amount of deaths there. A lot of buybacks coming out from... Well, Warriors Gaming, but they're sitting at 3 and 23 now, so those buybacks are just gonna hurt them more than do anything. They should have just succumbed to the darkness of Oblivion, but they didn't. They decide to fight on, they decide to press on. Raven is gonna have himself more good times as he's gonna shake his clawed hands in glee as he is sitting at a nice zero. One more to that holy shit, and uh, padding stats at this point. We'll look for Ohio here. He's gonna go around the back there. Arjit thinking it's safe and well, bro, it's never safe in the jungle. And Ursa gives himself that perfect 10. He's going in. Kangaroo makes a big mistake. Challenges the Ursa warrior. Nana goes in there and says, fight me. But uh, Ursa says, okay, I will. One more hit. Nope. Come and fight me like a man. And Nana really has to be careful with these one. Taking extra 180 damage. Goes in for the Omni Slash. A very laughable attempt here as Ohio just walks it off. Nana getting face palmed there by Demon. Smash Missile. Nova. Is that a swap? Nope. Nova actually cancelling his own TP there. The swap coming out on the wall, but he just cancels his own TP as he saw the flame break coming in. Raven with the triple kill. And at this point, Warriors Gaming. I'm at this point. I'm just convinced they like the pain. It's 3 to 28. They're still not calling it shots. And uh, they're not calling. They're not calling it quits right yet. And they're still sticking around. Fnatic are gonna have to close this coffin for them as uh, Raven marches up north this mid lane to take out the creep wave to bring it into the base. But Ohio, he's got that eel scepter. He's got the blink and force. He is uh, gonna roast this one himself and get the push going. So Warriors Gaming is like, guys, we've got this strategy. We throw bodies at them because we're low level, we revive fast, we can actually hold this, right? I mean, technically they haven't lost the Rex. They've only lost a lot of heroes, and the net worth is pretty glaring, but they haven't lost Rex, so... No, no point cancelling out your chances of playing it just yet. I mean, I'm not sure this is an elimination match. I could check, but... It is a best of three, so... And this is their last game as Fnatic are one game up, so maybe it's their the last game of the afternoon. They, they'll spend this time talking about their lives and uh, reflecting on what mistakes are uh, going to be worked on for the next match. Oh no, I hear a lasso. Someone's getting pulled. The Warlock! <laughs> the Warlock. Elder Titan, Nova trying to run away. He's like trying, cracking the ground in front. Getting some damage in. Will he get some damage in? Do they even get a kill here? Mushi just gonna stand and deliver that the axe just crumbles to the ground one last time. He's someone's hard rock. Ayo, hey, he's rock. But now another rock follows a demon. Oh, unable to. Unable to keep that disruptor alive. The demon actually gets the kill there on that disruptor. And now Nova, Warlock, as well as Medusa sit in the fountain and start exchanging notes. Alright, guys, we agree to ban the Warlock next time. Alright, guys, we ban it so that our captain doesn't pick it. But uh, Fnatic Arda is going to escape over there with murder, pretty much. The Disruptor. Sacrificial lamb, you could say. But just a little bit too deep there with Fatal Bonds on him. The Rock doing just a little bit to push him over the edge. But a very minimal loss there as Fnatic uh, just... That is my speed rolling this game. Mushi ought to get himself a Hex. At least having the manners not to buy a Dagon 5. Commendable effort there, Demon, meanwhile. No crazy items from him as well. I'm very surprised. At the same time, very disappointed. Alright, you're gonna scoot up there, sell your four staff and buy a relic. No! Demon! Jimmy. You know you wanna Jimmy. Get that yellow blade. Oh. So what do we do now? We're sitting around pretending that they have a chance. Alright. Nova, gonna find himself a arcane rune, throw out those spirits, stamp his feet a little bit more. Have I made fun- have I made enough fun of this warlock yet? I feel like I have. I mean, yeah, let, let's leave him alone. Ajit, Dragonlance, 0-5. I mean, I, I wanna pick on these scores, but you know, all of these scores can't really be picked on when your whole team is feeding in general. Let's go for a compliment kind of strategy. Nana! 
Now this guy, he needs a new team. He's got three quarters of his team's kills. So that's seventy-five percent. We're talking numbers here, right? Seventy-five percent of his team's kills clearly carrying this heavy, heavy bunch. <laughs> but then again, you look at the rest of them. They all have zero kills. Warlock has one. Can we really blame the warlock, guys? Can we? Can we really blame the warlock? I don't know. But uh, Warriors Gaming, I am suggesting a change to Warlock Gaming. Pretty lame, but he's so adamant about that. Some crazy warship right there. But uh, Fnatic are just really taking things slow. What's going on, Demon? Why are you buying proper items? Demon, why? You don't buy proper items, Demon? This is the time to unleash yourself. Let their hair down. You already let your hair down. Get some good items. No one's getting trolley items, and I'm really disappointed. But hey, I, I, I previously commended them on their discipline, so I am not going to. I'm not going to say that I am pissed with this. I'm just kind of disappointed that it made this game more juicy, you know? Go for the zaps. But Ohio now going in. He's got a he's a man on a mission. This is what they call bad ops. Oh Ajit reveals and like, oh crazy. What is the plan here? Ajit! Oh no, it's like, no, please! Please! I already have five deaths! Please pick on the other guy! Oh man. Poor guy. He's like, I'm the frontline tank, but really at this point, kangaroo misses the call there. Insult just flying over the heads of Fnatic. Not even gonna pump them into a fight. And you scoots away with that four star. The crack comes in. I still don't see any deaths on Fnatic. And they call GG as the juggernaut crumbles into the ground for the millionth time and melts down. Nova, the only one to get out of there alive, will tell his grandchildren about the horror stories of today and oh boy was this a massacre i thought game one was an execution this game this game is not oh man this game was not kind to children under 12 this game oh man well